Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my town where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisa and today we're gonna take a look at the last donkey mod. It's not the last mod ever made for Planet Zoo with a donkey, but it's the last updated for the 1.10 update. In a minute we get the 1.11 and I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same that's gonna be updated or something else. But it is a possibility and I'm making video on what I know is possible to do right now. So therefore I make on this. And this is the Somali wild ass. As is another word for donkey before anyone get too confused. And it's made by Leaf and JP. J2 Big, sorry. Um, Leaf also uh, did the... Uh, her miniature donkey along with Nicholas Line Rider, but that's it. I don't know if any of them made some of the other not updated donkeys, but this is what I am having have to look at. Um, but at the picture here below me, you can see, see that they are clearly different. They are more slender. They are more um elongated. They have these thin legs. This thin mouth area a uh, long thin ears um and they don't have the line down the back nor the line down the shoulders however they have these beautiful lines on their legs um which again beautiful beautiful to see uh, they are quite unique this way and they also live in the real world and they are not only domesticated as far as i know However, let's skin into it. <laughs> uh, and right now they're playing around in the water. But we're gonna go in here and here you can see the lines again. They are critical endangered and there's around 700 of them left in the wild. They live in Africa, more specifically Somalia, Somaliland, Eritrea, Ethiopia. And they live in the grassland and desert biome. So... If you don't see it on the savannah normally, it's because they prefer these drier areas combined with the fact that there aren't that many of them. Uh, one of them needs 200 square meters of land and nothing else and they live from 8 to 40 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind, once again, 40 the biomes in planet Zoo, most of them go up to 42, so keep that in mind. You need a grade 4 fence above 6.6 uh, .6 feet, which is 2 meters. Uh, over here you can have a group size from 1 to 6 if it's... It must be some mistake here because, again, it doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna assume that what it's supposed to say is 1 to 12, being 1 male and 11 females. That's my guess here. Um... And down here, uh, male, female, both 3 to 12. Uh, social hierarchy constant consists of dominant male with a sm small her of females and foals. They are polyamorous and confident and guests can enter the habitat. And they grow to about 5.4 feet tall, which is a meter and a half or something around that. They live for around 20 years and weigh 275 pounds, which is 138 kilos, I think. Uh, they reach sexual maturity at age 3 and they can reproduce roughly to the day. Uh, only get a single offspring every year and be pregnant for 13 months that's impressive is that if that should be right again there are some animals out there they are able to be double pregnant such as some rodents for instance rabbits can be pregnant in one side and before they give birth get pregnant in the other side uh, and be double pregnant that way. I don't think the uh, Somalian wild ass are able to do the same, especially because they live in these tough areas. So they will uh, already be tough for them to take care of themselves and the baby. 
and get enough to drink and eat and all of this, so it would be a lot to ask for both of that. Um, are we sorry? Um, here they have insect species enrichment with the zebra, and as I see here, it is the zebra enrichment. So we have the rubbing pillar, the grab ball, the plant screen, herb scent marker, uh, both scratching trees, and down here the normal grassing items: the grassing ball, the small barrel feeder, and the hanging grassing feeder. Um. Taking a closer look here, you can clearly see they are more slender, especially compared to the um, miniature donkey we looked at earlier today. One thing that changed it up here from the picture is that on the picture they look more staffed and much more slender. Um, I assume that's because this is a zoo animal, so they would get a lot of food especially if it's a petting zoo or something like that so can you please move out um if it's a petting zoo and you can uh, buy a carrot to feed them or something like that they would become a little bit rounder they don't get that exactly pale pale color but they are still paler then the other ones we have over here, we have the miniature and we have the North American standard donkey. Um, but besides that, it's pretty much, yeah. We still have that lighter belly part. Now you lay down, so we go over here. Lighter belly part. It's more prominent on the browner color than it is on the grayer one. And these are very beautifully done. I would like to zoom in here and you can see these small strands of hair of light and dark color blend a little bit, which I like. I don't like the line going there, nor the line going there. Uh, and the glitching, keep in mind that might be my computer. We also can see through the mud there. So there is a few, sorry, few, uh, a few of these smaller things that we can point out uh, if we choose to <laughs> here also you can see here that's the rig picking through the the fur here is painted on it seems extremely flat you can see here how short it actually is made now they do live in these harsh warm areas so they don't need a winter coat exactly but it is very, very thin. However, the paint job is well done. The eye. Again, we have the see-through part. But the eye itself is quite beautiful. Um, yeah. Again, all of the things I could point out is when we go all the way in here. If you just play your game, it shouldn't be an issue at all. Uh, the main here also looks kind of good. Kind of blurry, but again, it's very hard to make this part without making it blurry. And I actually think it's it's a good job. It's well done. Um, the folds uh, here are a little bit different because I it seems like on all of the uh, donkey mud, it is just a zebra gotten uh, a, a repaint with the folds so the same here they are therefore also a little bit compared to the adults not as bad as it is with the miniature donkey that's supposed to be smaller um but here you have the same issue where it's just sorry it's been a long day <laughs> um where it's just it's just the paint job it's just the paint job. The paint job is good, but it's just the paint job. Uh, I don't know how old this mud is. If it's a real old mud, they didn't use to be able to resize the babies. They are now. So if they went in and redid some of these things, they would be able to fix this. But overall, they, they, it would take a longer time to do that uh, and make it to completely new mud basically from scratch instead of just 
changing a few things it would take longer time and a lot of these mother invest a lot of time in making a lot of mods so every time we ask them to go back and fix something that takes time away from something new out there so it's <coughs> sorry um so it always as i say it's up to the mother if they want to go back and fix the things then they are welcome to and they should be told these things but we should also try to understand when they choose not to uh, the swimming is a little a little weird a little too low in the water do we have any full swimming not right now. I don't think I... Oh, we have one here. It swims better. Which is funny because in the mud I just looked at, the miniature donkey, it's the opposite. So the adult swims as they should. And then the babies basically dive. Again, the, the adults here isn't that low in it, the water where it's really an issue. But still, it's not looking too good to be honest and at the same time if you want these and you want them depending on what you want you may not want to make this deep of a water hole you can make a shallow pool of water then they will just walk through it you can make a just a water bowl again do you want them to be more like petting zoo donkeys do you want them to desert donkeys what do you want them to be so as long as you're not going for it, the water is your main goal, then it's fine. Completely fine. Uh, anyway, as always, the only one who decides which much you sh should get is only you. It doesn't matter what I think, what I believe, what I tell you. Look at these much yourself. I just put them out here and help you, guide you a little bit. But again, if you really want much, that you can go so close up this may not be it but if you just want to play your game as normal people do from out here for instance you can't see any of those things i just pointed out so again figure out what you want with a mud before you decide which mud to get um yeah we have a baby swimming again it swims perfectly um yeah guys next week and this week may be a little bit funky because we are going to put some extra videos out there on the new DLC. And next week, I may not have any mud to look at. Um, depending on how much I record this week, next week, however, uh, the muds will probably break with the new DLC. So you need to scrap them all from your computer, all of the muds, and then wait for the uh mothers to update the mud you can see that on i can show you that now um going over here uh, on nexus where you can download it link in the description uh you can see here new species 1.10 so that's the 1.10 update after tuesday if you get a mud it should say 1.11 that's how easy it is. Uh, there is some of the mods. Now I'm just donkey because I know there are some in there. Uh, here you can see the North American we looked at yesterday 1.10 and the miniature donkey we looked at earlier 1.10. Miniature donkey 1.4 not updated for this update. And here over here it doesn't say anything so it's very very old probably so therefore look for the number and if there's not a number then you probably can't use it there's no reason uh, for you to uh, basically ruin your game uh, just for trying a mod that you probably can't get um so remember that and uh, guys it's gonna be an exciting week and uh, yeah you know the drill, like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, out there in the comments below, or in the next video. Bye guys!